When it comes to aesthetic accessories like altered cards, or just clever and unique ways to do what you were already doing, the individual player's wants and personal style is critical. These are not necessarily accessories for protection, but rather ways to stylize your collection. And in this video, I'll be reviewing Infinitoken's Dry Erase Tokens, Alter Sleeves' interesting artwork altering inner sleeves, as well as Ultimate Guard's own style pad offerings for keeping track of your life total. A note about this video, these products are not going to be graded in the traditional sense. I would like to say at the start that I find all of their overall quality to be excellent or otherwise an A grade. However, I want to take this opportunity to omit grades and ask instead the question, is this the sort of accessory you are looking for to stylize your Magic the Gathering gameplay? I feel these are subjective accessories, and again, they're excellent in terms of quality, endurance, all of that, but to just go and say, oh yes, this is an A, you must pick them up, I feel is a disservice. Instead, I want to explore what they offer to the individual and then ask the question, are you such an individual that would enjoy what these accessories are bringing to the game table? Let's begin with Alter Sleeves. Alter Sleeves allow you to alter your card's appearance, all while simultaneously preserving the card itself, and even protecting it via double sleeving. Offering print-to-order custom protective inner sleeves for Magic the Gathering cards, Alter Sleeves act just like normal inner sleeves, allowing you to double sleeve with an outer sleeve for maximum protection, but with the added benefit of transforming your cards, such as a confined white border swords to plowshares into an eye-popping extended art borderless customized work. No Magic Fest artist line or secret layer required. The service has an enormous and still growing library of inner sleeves custom designed for specific cards, and altar sleeves let you add style and pizzazz to your cards with a growing artist repertoire, and hey, you can even become one yourself. These inner sleeves let you add style and pizzazz to your cards, from turning a dull basic swamp into a wild, borderless artistic endeavor, to shattering the norms with a stained glass interpretation of a favorite. And if you have a card whose art you are not a fan of, but whose function you still want in your deck, well, worry no more. Alter Sleeves can not just transform, but also completely replace artwork with something new and exciting. As someone who loves unique styles, but is also obsessed with keeping my cards pristine and untouched, Alter Sleeves allow me to get the best of both worlds, completely changing the way one of my cards looks, but also protecting that card and keeping it actually unaltered simultaneously. So whether you want to put English rules text on your Japanese anime special promo planeswalker, add Phyrexian writing to Atraxa, or even just put white borders on your black bordered magic cards, Alter Sleeves might just have the style you want. Links to their website listed in this video's description. How about rewriting again and again with Infinitokens? Infinitokens are reusable dry erase cards and counters that eliminate the need for a giant stack of tokens and let you deliver whatever card the game requires with just a scribble of a pen. Best of all, they are 100% reusable, so one game you might need a 1-1 goblin token, but the next a 2-2 knight token, so no problem. Wipe away and rewrite. They can be anything you need, anytime you need it. I like just being able to change the power and toughness as a token of mine grows. Best of all, these are still on Magic the Gathering sized tokens. So instead of just scribbling 1-1 goblin or plant on a slip of paper, you still get to maintain a certain level of gameplay immersion. Having a token in play that's the proper size and shape as your other cards, but whose surface becomes whatever the situation calls for. You could even sleeve these if you wanted to. The only limit is, well, your artistic skills. What the hell is that supposed to be? 
Infinite tokens also offer counters, so you can add Hexproof or First Strike or just Planeswalker loyalty points without needing punch out cards or a sack of dice. I personally like them for creative ways to put poison counters on my opponents. What the hell is that? The Phyrexian symbol. <laughs> it's the Phyrexian symbol. It's the Phyrexian symbol. High quality materials and my dry erase has always erased clean away. These are extremely well made and a fantastic utility accessory to add to your collection. Links to their website listed in this video's description. Finally, Ultimate Guard offers their own version of what you may already know as a boogie board, which are these LCD writing surfaces that you can use to keep track of life totals or just write down in-game notes and then clear it all away with the push of a button. Available in two sizes, these pads will retain whatever you write on them with a stylus or even your fingertip until you hit the clear screen. You don't have to worry about batteries or burnout. It's a quick and easy way to always have paper at the ready. Y yes, I, I know you can also just have paper at the ready, Yes, I know you can just buy paper. In fact, the same could probably be said for any of today's items. Just use a pen and paper to keep track of your life total, to write out on tokens, to, quite frankly, proxy your cards. You don't need to buy magic cards. You can just hit print. I guess I view the accessories that I've reviewed today to be kind of linked thematically as an in-between those two worlds. For example, with Alter sleeves, I get the joy and pleasure of both collecting and protecting real Magic the Gathering cards without having to permanently alter them. And yet I also get that experience of having unique and altered cards in my deck so that I can express myself and my interests in that way. With Infinite Tokens, I get Magic the Gathering sized cards, but I don't have to lug around a huge stack of tokens where I'll probably end up missing the one that I need anyway. Also, I think these probably have some really good uses in other tabletop games. Dungeons and Dragons, for example, I could see making good use of these. And yeah, well, you can just use paper instead of any of these items. I used to keep a pad in my backpack for Friday Night Magic, and then that paper would run out. Well, having this in my backpack means I'll always have all the paper I need. Having these tokens in my backpack means I will always have all of the tokens that I need. And with altar sleeves, it means I can probably take my favorite commander and make it into an extended super art style. So that's cool. As I said at the top, products like these are unique to the individual. They aren't needed in the same way deck boxes and outer sleeves are necessarily, and for many Magic the Gathering players, this simply was not going to... As I said at the top of the video, products like these are unique to... As I said at the top, products like these are unique to the individual. They aren't needed in the same way that deck boxes and basic card sleeves are necessarily, and for many Magic the Gathering players, this simply may not be for them, and that's fine. But for those who this is the product for, for those who would love an Atraxa with Phyrexian script, or a white-bordered Sky Diamond, or just to draw silly stuff on a dry erase token-sized board, then I hope very much this video has been of some help to you. You can help me out by remembering to like, share, subscribe, or just by leaving a message. What is the ultimate accessory that isn't needed for protection of your collection, but that gives it that extra style, that extra option, that extra, I don't know what. Let me know in the comments below.